If you've been out and about this spring and summer, you will see that there are a lot of wasps flying around. Now, many of them are not gonna bother us in the landscape, but we do have a few which are called social wasps that you may be seeing, and there may be reason to be afraid of them. Paper wasps are a type of social wasp that build nests in protective places, but very close to humans. And so we're gonna look at a couple nests today and talk about what we can do to manage wasps, how to avoid them, and if we should even be worried about them. So paper wasps have a one-tier nest structure. So these are going to be visible sometimes because they are usually under protected areas around doors and windows, very close to where we live, sometimes under decks, even in birdhouses and playground equipment. So these are the places you should scout early in the season. Paper wasps are active April to October, but in April, the overwintering females that are fertilized are looking for a place to nest. You may see them flying around and that's the time to hit them with a fly swatter so they don't build the nest there. Though they don't reuse old nests, you want to keep an eye on those locations that you've had nests previously because it's all about location, location, location. If they feel safe there, a new wasp will end up building a nest in that same location the following year. When the nests are small, you can easily scrape those down. As the season progresses, the wasp nests will grow in number and their workers will all look very similar, but they have the capability of stinging and stinging repeatedly. The only time they will get very defensive of that nest is if you are close by or they feel they're in danger. So that's why it's important to find those nests and take care of it. Paper wasps have one tier uh, nests that are, have open cells and each one of those cells will have a, an egg and a larvae developing. They will feed the larvae caterpillars and other pests that feed on plants. So essentially they are beneficial insects because they're natural predators. Adults will feed on flowers and so you may see them in the garden, which doesn't necessarily mean there's a nest nearby. So scouting is always important. A way to manage nests, if they're in a high density area that you do not want in the potential for any stinging, then you'll want to scout the nest during the day, but treat at night. At night, when all the wasps are in the, at the nest is when you want to treat. Do it in the dark, but use a headlamp or a red uh, salivane over a flashlight because the wasps can't see red and it will be ultimately safer for you. Wear protective clothing and you can use soapy water solution or you can use any of the commercial wasp sprays. It is important to do this and maintain safety for all humans. If you have a paper wasp that's in an area that is too dangerous to treat or high up, you may be able to leave them alone if it poses no threat to any humans. Paper wasps are pollinators as adults, and they do do some free pest control for us. There are only a small portion of wasps that are actually dangerous to humans, so if you don't need to kill them, then let them live and enjoy the wondrous world of wasps.